Welcome back guys. In this video I've got my Forester here and cleaned it up yesterday so it looks a little better but I'm right under trees so I guess that doesn't help. Anyway, in this video I am going to be repairing a small rock chip that I have with East Up. So I have a few rock chips on here um, but the one that I'm going to be focusing on is this one right here. There you go. So that you guys can see it. It's a nice chip. I've got like two other ones, but I've got East Up. I used them before for their defogging cleanup thingy for the Camaro for the back so I could actually have all the lines working. So for this one, I'm going to go with the same company and I'm going to try to fix that and see if it looks beautiful and clear. So here is the repair kit and inside it's pretty simple. They give you everything you need for the repair kit and the instructions on what to do. And I guess you can contact them and make sure you can get whatever language you want. So if English is not your native language, there's a handful of other ones that you can pick from. So a few things before I get started. In the instructions it says make sure you're not in a sunny spot because that comes with the last step since this will cure with UV. So make sure you're in a covered area. I'm, I mean it's cloudy anyway, but I'm under the trees. I'm gonna move the car to a more bright place, but make sure you're there. Don't clean your windshield. They also say that. Um, I'm guessing that's because if water gets in the cracks, it's gonna screw up the resin. So make sure that you haven't cleaned your windshield within the last however long, or if it has rained, make sure that it has been drying for a while so there's no water in that crack. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the little push pen that they provide, and they basically say use this and poke around and try to clean out as much of the loose glass as you possibly can because you want to get all of that out so the resin can fill. All right, so now that the chip is nice and cleaned out, I used just a Kleenex to wipe the area, get all the extra glass residue off of there, and now we'll move to step two. So something I just noticed is there's actually two of everything. So you can actually do this treatment twice. There's two of these, two of these, two of the little things in there. Basically everything you need for two different repairs. So just a little note there. So for the next step, we're going to be using these two and one of these, and of course this little rubber gasket here. All right, so the first step is go to the back. You can actually push it through. Just push it through, remove the little circle around the inside. Once we're done with that, then we're going to take this off and that will expose the sticky side. Then we're going to place the cracked area right here in the center, and we're gonna stick it right on. Okay, now we're just gonna press this down, make sure it has a nice seal. So once that is stuck on, we're gonna take the blue tape that is on here off. Once we take the blue tape off, we'll be able to have a sticky side here that we can stick the next piece onto. Once removed, we're going to take the little rubber gasket and pop it right in the center to create that seal. And once that's in place, we are going to place this piece of plastic right over the top. So now that is pushed into place nice and firm down where it's supposed to be. Now we are going to move on to actually drawing the resin. So here in step three, what we're going to do is we're going to get 0.5 milliliters of this resin. And in order to do that, we get the syringe out and we get the little drawing needle that they have. This all looks very medical. So we're gonna pop this in and we're gonna turn it so it locks into place. So then you have the syringe looking like this, beautiful. And I'll show this with one hand. These are the twist in, so we're gonna put the syringe and the needle like that, and then we're gonna twist it into place so it doesn't come out. So there you go. Now your needle and syringe is ready to draw 0.5 milliliters out of here. So we're gonna take the cap off, 
and 0.5 on here is just going to be to this first line. I'm a little bit past it so you can see it. That line right there, so it's gonna be just like this, and that is 0.5 milliliters. So now that we have the syringe, we're just going to place it right down in here, and we're going to push in the 0.5 milliliters. And real quick, if we look at this syringe, you can see it has that locking mechanism, and there's gonna be two different places that it can hook up on. So if you push all the way up, there's going to be two of these. And see how they're facing two different ways. This one is going to be locked down, and this one's going to be locked up. So all you have to do is turn it so this bar that goes across gets into that little groove. So one is going to lock down here so it can't go down, and the other one is going to be up so it can't go up any further. That's what you're going to use for when you don't want it to go down and when you don't want it to go up, when you're pushing the resin in and when the resin is being pushed up to get all the bubbles out. So once you put the 0.5 milliliters in there, you're gonna take the little needle part off, you're gonna put the syringe on, and then you're going to pull out to create a vacuum in here. That's gonna pull all the bubbles out. So you can see I have it locked into place so now we're just gonna wait. Now that it has been 10 minutes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the syringe out, you're just gonna pop it out like that, and then for this plunger here, you're going to move it all the way out. So you're gonna move the plunger all the way up to here, you're gonna put it back on, and the plunger's gonna, this black plunger is gonna be all the way up, then you're gonna push down, pushing the resin into all of the little tiny cracks, and then you're gonna lock it into place the same way that we lock this one into place, but it's gonna be further down. That's gonna be creating pressure in there, and then we're gonna do the same thing, let it sit for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to release this. We're gonna just twist it and release it, so you can take this whole thing apart. We're going to take this off, and this is something we're gonna reuse. And now we are going to remove this. If you need to, you can use the uh, razor that's included into it to get everything off of there so it's nice and smooth once we take it off. So we take the plunger off, and now I'm just gonna go around the edges with the razor to loosen this up. Oh, and we got some spillage. As long as you are in a, a dark spot that has no UV, this is fine. Just grab a tissue or something to clean that up. And then I think I should be fine. I don't know that ripped. To take the rest of this off. And once all that crap is off of there, you're gonna have that residue, which is where the razor comes in. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna take off all that excess grossness. So now that I have everything cleaned off and the razor and, you know, wiped everything off with a, a towel, the surface is clean again, the last step is to get your syringe and the resin again and put one or two drops right where that chip is and then you're gonna lay this film that they provide. You're just gonna lay that over it and then use the razor to just flatten it out. Once all that is flattened out and it's a nice clear slide, we're gonna move the vehicle out into the sunshine so it can clear, and then we'll have one step left, and that's just to get the razor and scrape all of the hard, crusty stuff off. So I have the drop there. We're gonna place the film over it like that, and then I'm just gonna grab my razor and I'm gonna flatten this out so it's just not one big blob. So let's go ahead and push that all around using the flat side, because I don't want to cut this in any way. Just move around all the liquid. So we're gonna try to get this as flat as possible. Then once this is all done, I'm gonna move the car into the sunshine for 10, maybe 20 minutes. It, dep it really depends on how bright the sun is. If it's a cloudy day, then you want to do it, it says up to an hour if it's a cloudy day, but it's a pretty sunny day today, so. And after 10 minutes, 
we're going to peel this off and get that out of the way. And now we've got this residue, which is what the razor's for. We're gonna go through here and we're gonna cut this stuff off, giving you a nice smooth surface once you're all done. And once you scrape all that residue off, you should have a nice clean surface. And it says in the instructions, if you still have any sort of crack, do the process over again, since each one of the things includes two of everything, almost two of everything, you can reuse the razor, and then you can go through the whole thing again. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so you can get some behind the scenes stuff that hasn't happened yet, and unreleased content that no one else has seen. And if you haven't already, watch that video. And if you watch that video, watch that video. And if you've watched both of those videos already, Make sure you subscribe down here. Yeah, watch this stuff. It's awesome. And if you've watched that, and that, and subscribed,